January 29. You know, these days I'm just losing track of days, what day it is, what's the date. Um, I just know that January is so long. <laughs> it feels like such a long month. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, you know, I know like the vlogs these days, they're not consistent. They're not daily. It's just, you know, the, what I'm going through right now, it's just I don't feel like vlogging sometimes or I forget or, you know, um, or I don't have time <laughs> to do it. Um, yeah, like even editing, although I managed to get two vlogs out last week, um, you know, I was just getting the... A routine going with my mom so maybe um you know it'll con uh, I can continue doing it like that um but yeah it's usually like in the morning where she's still sleeping and I have some quiet time to myself before you know my day starts with her so yep so right now it is about 3.30 I'm on my way to go pick up Matt and whew, and um, we'll head over to go visit my dad in the hospital. Um, I wasn't able to go visit him the past two days. I was feeling under the weather, but today I feel so much better. So I'm going to go see him and I don't know, see how he's doing. I called the nurse yesterday and um, no major change. <clears throat> um, I mean, they're still s scheduling uh, a tracheostomy for him this week. I just don't know when. I know they said midweek when they told me last week. <laughs> so, uh, I just need him to be home already, you know. But we'll see. And then Katrina and Ted, they stayed home from work and school today. Um, I guess we all caught the cold. You know, Matt had it like a week or so ago. And then, um, I think Trina had it. But then I thought she was good already. And then it was bound to happen. Um, you know, cooties in the house. <laughs> so, but I've heard that the colds and all these viruses are just rampant right now and um you know unfortunately we caught it good afternoon welcome back to my channel i know that the channels or the channels the blogs haven't been consistent um you know as i've explained earlier in previous vlogs you know uh, life right now is challenging and sometimes I just don't feel like vlogging it so um, I mean there's times where I will and stuff, maybe mark milestones in this mini trial um, going on so anyway um, so yesterday, my dad got his, got a tracheostomy, and, you know, it's not as bad as it looks. Um, I mean, I was imagining, like, those smoker commercials on TV, um, especially, like, this elderly lady that was on the commercial, and, you know, it just looked really horrible, and... And, you know, I just remembered my dad when he would see the commercial, he wouldn't want to see it because it just, it didn't look nice. And so, the fact that he has to get one, um, you know, I was, I was sad, I was heartbroken, and I just didn't know what to do because I knew that he didn't, he didn't like it. But it, it was a way to get the ventilator out from his mouth because he's had that on for nearly a month and 
when he had it on, he was sedated. So he was sedated for nearly a month and that's not good either. So, um, so we went this route, although we did, you know, take steps beforehand to try things to avoid, you know, um, getting the tracheostomy, but you know, his body, um, is just not, um, able to bounce back as, um, what we would like. And it would just take longer, so that means he'd be longer with a ventilator and long, you know, sedated longer, and just didn't want that. So, so when I seen him yesterday after the procedure, um, you know, it, it didn't look as scary <laughs> as I imagined it to be. Um, I was telling the the respiratory therapist, I'm like, it doesn't look as bad as the commercials, you know, show. Yeah, I think they try to make it look really bad on the commercials to help people avoid, you know, maybe smoking or vaping, things like that. So, um, yeah, so I mean, it's nice. Yes, he doesn't have the mouth, um, the ventilator in his mouth, um, but, you know, it's just one step closer to recovering from this whole, you know, health issue that he's going through right now and um I know it's it's nice to see him um without that ventilator but um he still will have the ventilator for hopefully a short period of time um on the throat where they had to put the tube there or a hole and you know it's just rehabbing and just you know, showing him uh, how to breathe normal again because what it is was his oxygen levels would go down. Um, he had a lot of water retention. What am I going to say? You know, stubborn dad. <laughs> but in any case, you know, he's it's going in the right direction and you know, we're just praying that it continues to be until he gets a full recovery and get the this tracheostomy thing reversed. So, anyway, on my way to go pick up the kids, um, at least Katrina, and then Matt's gonna ride home. It was a rainy day today. Um, it was raining hard earlier, so hopefully it wasn't raining hard when he was going riding to school. Um, I think when he gets out, it shouldn't be bad, um, or it might. There might be a break in the rain, so. Today 
we are gonna try natto. It's a Japanese fermented uh, soybeans, I believe. And so usually they come in these little <coughs> packs and you open it up and it comes with these things. So, so first you take this, this thing off, it's like a cover and then you <laughs> but but we knew that <laughs> and so I know it has a distinctive smell it's not bad it's not bad <coughs> okay so hold on so we got our plate of rice the hot new co newly cooked rice and so the natto comes with two little packets and on videos i've seen them just pour it in this is probably sesame oil or not and this is must it looks like mustard i'm thinking it is it has okay. the consistency of it. and the color so they always do that famous little Stir. stirring thing right we go Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know. they stir it fast they stir it fast okay okay we're all gonna try this right all yep. three of us yep oh my god what <laughs> I'm getting full you're full oh my yeah. god okay <laughs> okay so I'm just gonna pour a little soy sauce on my rice for flavor. <laughs> That's little. <laughs> Let's kill the taste of it. I wish I didn't look at it. And then we're gonna put it on some rice. Are you gonna go with the rice? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, oh wow. All right. Our brave soul is going. Yeah, I'll add some more. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's enough, that's enough. Okay, go. So Ted's gonna try it first. Mm. Oh, he took a big go. First reaction. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like it? Mm. Really? Because, mm -hmm. I mean, I like to put on. I'm gonna eat it with chopsticks, it's more authentic. It's your turn. <laughs> okay. Oh, it just comes in a little smidge. Yeah, it's not bad. Someone give me a spoon. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. That's fine. I think it's cheesy. Mmm. Definitely love the soy sauce in there. All right, all right, my turn. Ooh, that's not bad. Mmm. It's like cheese. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just don't mind the um. That's like cheese. Oh yeah, we didn't put soy sauce. Chaser. <laughs> <laughs> Would it be good with sriracha? Hey, uh, I, uh. hey, you're gonna have to eat this when you go to Japan. Oh. I smell the malt from here. You want some more? What? You want a spoon instead? It's like Buddha cheese. No, I'll, I'll try it. I'll try it. No, I don't even really feel like it's. I think I've had more fermented stuff. <laughs> like kimchi is a stronger taste than this. Yeah, for sure. And we like kimchi. Oh, the smallest bite. This will clean your arteries and has vitamin K too. Go. Oh, hey. Get away from the plate. You, you psyched yourself ah, out. You psyched psych yourself out. That's good. Gouda. Wanna try it? Try it. Just one little soy boy. <laughs> okay. So, anyway, overall, I like it. 
I mean, I know people eat it with eggs and put some green onions in there. So next time with the other two little packs I have, I could do that. Big thumbs up. It's a good one for me. Good afternoon, late afternoon. Um, it's already like four o'clock. <laughs> um, just got done charging. I've been charging more often since we've been visiting my dad um, every day. So I just like to charge just to make sure I have enough charge when we go things like that um it's a friday so the doctor called me and you know um they're still trying to figure out where this fever is coming from so he asked if they could do a bronchoscopy and then they're also going to do a ct scan on his head um just to make sure that he hasn't had a stroke since they minimized the blood thinners um, I don't know during this process or something so I mean it's good to know good to see if things are cool up there and yeah we're gonna go visit again as usual it's part of our daily routine and but we'll wait for Ted Ooh, Dutch Brothers <laughs> Oh, my God. oh, yes, we are having Jolly Bee. Per this person's request, right there. Not, not the one with the glasses. <laughs> That's funny. So, okay, Trina. Yeah, she wants Jolly Bee today. Why? Because she saw some TikToks or something and. TikTok likes, um, likes recommending me um, Jollibee's at night. Mm. So we'll, we'll get it later. Not here in, in Fairfield. Um, we'll go to Concord. So it'll be more fresh. And, ooh, and then they have like other places to get some stuff. Ooh. I've been craving some Filipino barbecue lately. Maybe I'll get some of that. At City Grill. Anyway, so that's what's going on today. Nothing much. It's just the usual, the new norm these days. <laughs> I like the muffin tops. Okay. So we just tried the new Dutch Brothers coffee place, and of course we got the chocolate chip muffin tops. They're so good. They look dry, but they're really not. And so for today, I got the Annihilator, which was like chocolate and macadamia nut coffee, iced. And then Moms and Trina, they got a passion fruit lemonade. How's that? Is it better than a, a mango dragon fruit refresher? Because they're both made with lemonade. So I guess it's, it just depends on how you're feeling that day. Yeah. <laughs> and it's so convenient. Well, they're actually both convenient. Starbucks and Dutch Brothers. I'm starting to like Dutch Brothers too. <laughs> Hello. 
It is early evening, Saturday, uh, February 3rd. I know, started late today. This morning was so rough. Um, my mom was just getting up. It felt like every two hours, like she wanted to just get out of bed and walk around. And, you know, sometimes, most of the time, I will go follow her or whatever, but I was just so tired. So I just had her walk around in, in her room and, you know, I know she'll just end up somewhere. <laughs> and sure enough, so I woke up like an hour later and I found her stuck somewhere cause she didn't know where to go. And yeah, um, you know, it's, it was hard. Are you gonna go? Um. Anyway. So and then after that, we just started our day early. Uh, did the routine, and um, she was still antsy. Like she just wanted to get up and walk. And um. You know, so that's what I. Did. So I just let her walk around. Um, you know, I have Katrina follow her or something. Cause then, um, um, so anyway, uh, just the day. Um, oh, I well, I I did edit. I edited a vlog and I was uploading, and um. Then I cook some lumpia, like fried, okay, fried lumpia, and then for lunch, and um, what else? <laughs> and then I wanted to clean up the, the coat closet near the front door, and so Matt and I started that, but then my mom, you know, she just kept wanting to move around. So that was a little challenging or somewhat challenging. It's for some reason, she always thinks that she's um, gonna take a bus somewhere and that she's not at home. And so we just keep reminding her that she's at home and um, she doesn't need to take a bus or anything, but you know, whatever's going through her mind, she thinks she's on the streets somewhere. I think back when she was younger, because she did take the bus, um, you know, when she was living in San Francisco or maybe in the Philippines, you know, things like that. So, um, I know for sure I had to come out of the house. I, I didn't want to come out, but um, to pick up some of her medicines at the local pharmacy. And then um, we didn't go visit my dad today because my brother went and he said that, you know, things are okay. And, but he had a rough morning. Um, I guess he had a bowel movement and he didn't like it. So they had to sedate him. And so, which means that he's not going to be up today. So um, we can't even talk to him or his, he won't. Be awake so well, we'll just go visit tomorrow um my brother will be coming early and um staying to watch my mom while me ted and the kids we will go out for the day and then you know come back and you know start a routine again but you know it's a little break which we definitely need because you know you know how it goes and um yeah, and, well, I know that he was supposed to have his sutures taken out today. So when I asked my brother if it was done, he didn't know. And I don't know if he asked the nurse, but, you know, um, so we'll, I'll just see tomorrow. But um, I'm glad his CT scan came back. And, um, no notations of any possible strokes that may have happened when they... Um, you know, stopped his uh, blood thinners for a little bit. So, 
Yay! So right now I'm here at Target, waiting for my um, curbside pickup, and just listening to the Warriors game. And they're in the lead, yay! Oh, uh, yeah. Good morning to this God-given Sunday, as hubby had reminded me. Oh, there was the accident. So anyway, so today is a break day, I guess, from the routine that we've been doing for the past month. My brother um, came over today to hang out with moms, and so we, as a family, there they are, are going out just to go out and just enjoy our day, uh, even though it's stormy weather. <laughs> that ain't gonna stop us. But we have um, things that, you know, some errands that we're gonna do also as well, like donate and dump some garbage, and then we can have fun, go visit my dad in the hospital, watch a movie, maybe go to D&D. So we're just trying to make the most of it. And then, you know, back to routine again. But for now, look at this. Pretty stormy out there. Got the lox sandwiched this morning with my vanilla latte. Avocado toast, man. <laughs> we cleaned. Um, we cleaned out a closet yesterday, the coat closet near the front door, and just donated everything. It's took out everything. We haven't opened that closet in like I don't know, ten years or so. <laughs> So, we got bags of things to toss out, and our garbage bin at home was already full. So we're here at my mother-in-law's to use her garbage bin since she got some big ones. And it's just hers, so they're not full. And yep, hopefully it'll fit there. Lunch at McCoonies with these two. Point. <laughs> He just woke up from naps. Oh, how we've missed you, flaming shrooms, and barbecue albacore, tuna. <laughs> Me too. Ooh, the tonkatsu, yay! It's delicious over here. There's her kids' udon. I don't remember that having kids' udon here, but it's pretty good. Oh, rainbow! Love me some rainbows, especially if we're in Hawaii. Oh, that looks cool. Hello, good morning. It's a Saturday morning. It's a beautiful Saturday morning at that. Um, so I'm up a little early. Well, not really early. It's like 10.54. And um, I'm here doing a Target pickup. You know, um, my mom, she woke up several times last night. Two of the times 
was because she said her knee was hurting and she went up to go look for um, a cream, something like Bengay or something like that. And it took me a few minutes to realize what what it was that she's looking for because she was trying to explain and she kind of forgot the words or the word for it. So, um, so I just went ahead and I did a um, a Target order because <laughs> that was like around three o'clock in the morning. So I just went ahead and ordered it. And now I'm here to pick it up, and yeah. So, well, good thing about that is that, um, you know, no one's really here in the Target um, curbside or the drive up parking spaces because usually it's pretty crowded. So, yep. Um, nothing planned today, even though it's a beautiful day, but it's more like, you know, maybe trying to clean up some more stuff. And, and then later on, we're going to go um, to the hospital to visit my dad. But um, yeah, Ted went to work, so we'll wait for him because it's just easier when he's around. So, um, you know, not all of us have to go inside the hospital because Katrina can't go inside anyway. So, all right. Um, I think that's about it. Yeah. And there it is, the salon pass. Well, I asked. I asked my mom um, what she prefers because Salon Pass, they've been using this for so long, ever since I was a little kid and you know, the smell just sticks to you. So <laughs> it's very nostalgic. And then the other one I got was Ben Gay. I mean, although she says, um, she said, oh, Salon Pass would be good. I just got her both just in case, so. Hopefully, this will relieve her knee pains. All right. Might as well do a mini Target haul because it really is mini. Um, so I got some Dave's Killer Bread. This is the Bloomin' Berry. And we like it because there's no fructose syrup. Then um, <laughs> I also got some capers because um, I bought some smoked salmon. Um, the other day from Costco and I want to make a, a lox bagel sandwich and I have that every day every day everything but the bagel and then of course I got some more creamer because running low and can't have my coffee without some cream I think that was about it yep. all right hello we just like looking at this lighted tree I don't know. It just looks so holiday-ish, but it's past the holidays. Uh, just got out from visiting Dad. Today was a good day. He looks more alert. His eyes were wide open and he looked more normal. And he was moving around, moving his head to look. But, I mean, he's still non-responsive. <clears throat> um, still time and patience for that. So, but his lips weren't chapped like yesterday. Yesterday's lips, he was so chappy. I was so upset. <laughs> like, where's the chapstick here? But tomorrow, hopefully be another good day. Yeah. And the Warriors won! <laughs> that was so good. We were watching the game with Grandpa. Good morning. It's a Sunday. And what is the day today? Today is... I think it's February 11th. Oh yeah, it's Super Bowl Sunday. Um, I mean, we're not doing much for that anything really we're just gonna be at home and then right after we're gonna go visit my dad at the hospital so right now um, I'm doing a little self-care uh, me time gonna get a Maddie and a Petty and then um, do some grocery shopping uh, for the week so planned for the week and that's what I'm gonna go do get the stuff make a donation
nation. You know, we've been pretty, um, at least I've been, pretty active in decluttering. So I have a bag full of, you know, shoes and um, other knickknacks that, you know, that's around the house that we don't need. So, yep, that. And um, that's pretty much it, I think. Um, like I said, it's going to be a quiet Super Bowl Sunday for us. And that's pretty much it. Before. Oof, dry. Hee. And after. So I went for a neutral color again. So I don't know what happened to my eye, but earlier, see this eye. Earlier, it felt like there was like a speck of dirt in there. So I was just, um, I was rubbing it and scratching it. And then it turned really red and watery. And so this is the aftermath. I looked it up and I'm thinking it's like um, allergen conjunctivitis. So hubby looked it up and he suggested to get some Visine. So I'm here at Safeway. Um, hopefully they have it. I'll check. But yeah, it just feels weird. And of course it comes down to the eye. I get a little more worried. <laughs> so uh, hopefully it's just that. So this is what Ted suggested to get. And we only have one left. Wow. So lucky me.